This assignment is on page three, and you're expected to do this with me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the odd. It says use a pair of parallel, uh, identify a pair of parallel planes. So I'm going to go ahead and make it larger here. Uh, we have parallel planes. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. And I'm going to pick the one that's on top and the one that's on the bottom. So you have to name it correctly. You write by saying plain. You write plain. And then you have S, Q, R is parallel to plain uh, W or U, V, X, W, right? U, V, X. Now you could have also picked the ones on the side if you wanted to, but I'm just going to go ahead and select those two planes. Skew. I'm going to go ahead and erase this here. I'll show you a skew line or a set of skew lines. Uh, we have W, W, X. So you see TR, that's skew. SQ, that's Q, and of course the ones that are in the back that are dotted, Q, U, and R, B. So you need to make sure that you have the symbol correctly. So it's a line S, Q, line uh, Q, U, line T, T, R, and line RB. So those are the ones that are skew. In other words, they appear to be intersecting from the top view, but they're not. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and erase. I'm going to erase this here. So remember that I'm not here today, but I do expect you to go over this with me and then you do it on your own. A plane parallel to Q, U, W, S, which is the one on the left. So you're going to write plane, T, R, V, X. So remember, you're responsible to do the even, 2, 4, 6, 8, and I'm going to go ahead and do 7. It says, an exercise 6 through 11, describe the statement as true or false. So plane a D, B, F, which is the one on the side, and plane A, B, D, which is the one on top, but obviously they intersect at a line, so that's false. And I just gave you the reason, so you have to write it out. It's false because the two planes intersect. Okay, number nine, we have line D, B, and those two lines that are going up and down means parallel to AE, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, trace that. So we have DB, we have DB, that's the line, and we have AE, there's the other line, and so they're not parallel, so this would be false. The lines are skew. And the one before that was false because the two planes intersect. So the planes intersect. So the planes intersect. So now we're going to go to number 11. And remember, I'm doing the odd. You're going to do the even. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase again. So we have a uh, line F, H, which is right here. And we have line C, D, which is right here. And you can tell that if you look from the top, they're intersecting, but they're not. So they are skewed. So that is true. Both lines are skewed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to number 12. Uh, that's what you're going to have to do. Number 13, 
we did have a foldable, and in that foldable, we talked about different types of angles. So for example, angle two and angle seven, which this is angle two and this is angle seven, the ones that I put a dot, those are alternate. Exterior. Those are alternate exterior. Now we have the next pair of angles, which is eight and three. Those are going to be corresponding angles. Those are called corresponding angles. Angle one and angle five are also going to be corresponding angles. And that's angles. Okay. So I did 13. 15, 17, make sure you do 14, 16, and 18. Uh, that's what I have for you today. So remember, you're going to do the whole page. Remember to watch the video, and I expect you to finish this homework uh, before the period ends.